Hey, it's Jason. It's Wednesday. I'm actually uh, standing uh, on a park uh, on the pier uh, in Long Island City, Queens. Uh, right over there is uh, Manhattan, and uh, this is the East River here behind me. That big square building, that's the UN building. Um, but anyway, I wanted to sort of um, just give a quick update on what's going on. You know, I, I went to the uh, went to the doctor today and uh, got some very good news. Um, it appears that uh, the the transplant has uh, has done a, a lot of good. Um, there are a lot of confusing numbers that I could try to explain to you, um, but I won't. Um, but the bottom line is, uh, there's uh, of of the the particular cancer protein in my blood. Uh, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna let that sound go by. It's a helicopter. Uh, they're um, they're actually filming right over here. Uh, I don't know if they're filming a movie or a commercial or something. I'll give you a quick look. But over there, they're filming something. But anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. The, the helicopter's not gone by. Um, so, so uh, the 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 cancer protein in my blood is uh, is is barely detectable. In fact, it's it's undetectable. Um, it is there, uh, but it's such a trace that it's very difficult for them to measure. Um, so that was uh, really good news. Um, you know, my white blood count is back to normal, um, and uh, which means I can fight off infection pretty, uh, pretty effectively. Uh, you know, my doctor, in fact, today she said that she would be happy to have my uh, white blood count. So um, that's good. All the other numbers are still on the rebound. Um, just to, to clarify uh, something I didn't even know, really. Um, the full effects of a, of a stem cell transplant aren't, uh, aren't immediately, um, don't immediately make themselves known. It can take up to a year, um, but more likely uh, six months, three to six months, for you to fully grasp how uh, your body has, has responded to um, a stem cell transplant. So. Um, the truth of the matter is that I'm still in progress. That uh, that um, you know the the true the true value of, of the transplant won't make itself known for a while. But the bottom line is, right now I'm doing extremely well. I asked my doctor to give it a grade, and she said she'd give it an A minus. Uh, she and then she said A minus B plus. And you know when you have conservative doctors. That's something. That's something pretty extraordinary for them to say uh, A minus B plus. Um, you know, but the, the idea here is that, uh, that it's all sort of good news. Um, I'm just looking here to make sure that uh, <laughs> that uh, the camera's responding. Um, so anyway, uh, it's all good news, and uh, can't complain. And I'm certainly not going to complain. Um, she said she was very pleased with how things are are going, and uh, I got to tell you, I honestly I feel like I've, I've turned a corner in uh, in my whole experience uh, with cancer. Um, I think that you know I was telling the doctor today that um, physically uh, I feel as good as I have in, in about a year. Um, there is still definitely some soreness. Uh, I wake up very sore in the morning, uh, and I think that's sort of to be expected. Um, I have cut down greatly on my uh, my pain medication, um, and there is no doubt that I'm still sort of on the mend. But in terms of how I've felt, this is as good as I've felt in a long time. Um, and strength-wise, I, I haven't felt this strong in a while either. Uh, my back is very sore, uh, and, and, and it does still hurt quite a bit. But it's a different kind of sore. It's a sore like uh, like if you go to the gym uh, and you work out really, really hard, and you haven't done it in like six months, <laughs> like I'll be doing soon. 
uh, you know, that kind of that kind of pain where it's really, really sore, but it's not like an injury. Um, and I think that's really important um, for me is that I don't feel injured anymore. I just feel like I'm getting better. Um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but there's something to be said for, uh, you know, listening to your body and reading your own body. And uh, for the past couple of weeks, my body has just told me, you know, to continue to do things, to continue to uh, push myself, to try to get off the pain meds, to try to do more physically, uh, you know, to try to actually go to work more often. You know, I'm, still, I'm working full time, but I'm only going into the office. Uh, physically a couple of days a week and trying to do that more um, you know I'm gonna try walking more I'm actually gonna try riding my bike which I keep talking about and I haven't done yet um, and uh, I want to continue uh, the recovery um, but I can tell you this I, I don't feel like a I don't feel like a cancer patient anymore um, and uh, I really do think I've turned the corner um, the cancer is gone, pretty much. There's only a, a small trace of it, and uh, all of the numbers look really positive. The doctor says, um, and as I said, I have a very conservative uh, oncologist, transplant doctor, whatever you'd like to call her, and uh, she says that uh, it's an A minus, and that's that's about as good as I could ask from her. Um, so you know, I'm starting to feel good. You know, I've had I told my doctor that I had some uh, some night sweats, and uh, you know, sometimes that can be a, a negative indication. Uh, sometimes that's an early indicator of uh, of lymphoma, which is another type of cancer. Um, but luckily, it has no uh, it has no bearing on multiple myeloma. And uh, uh, what she told me was that uh, my body is is responding and. Uh, Apparently, you know, creating testosterone. Uh, when you have uh, a transplant um, and chemo, you know, apparently your testosterone, if you're a man, uh, your testosterone levels uh, get pretty low. And, um, you know, I can't help but think that, uh, that, you know, as my body is creating more testosterone, you know, I really am feeling, you know, more, uh, you know, a lot stronger and a lot more, you know, I hate to say it, um, but you know, I feel sort of you know manly, and, and I, I, I say that you know at the cost of sounding like a complete dick. But the truth of the matter is, you know, when you lose your hair and you know you're in bed for a couple of weeks and you've had a transplant, and people are basically wiping the snot from your face after you've puked up your lunch. There's a lot of you know emasculating going on, and, and if you remember um, the back when I did that video, you know, I was like, I broke down crying. I mean, it, it's. There, there's there's a lot of emasculating that goes on with this, and um, uh, it's both physical and mental. And uh, I gotta tell you, I have just been telling people, you know, I feel stronger. You know, I feel I feel uh, you know m you know more virile even, you know, and uh, and and my confidence is up, and you know, my hair is is growing back, and you can't really see it, but my facial hair has come back with with a pat with, with a with a passion. It's come back with a vengeance, and. Um, you know, it's weird. I think it's I think it's connected to the production of testosterone, and also you know feeling better. And you know, uh, I'm back on a, a really good, healthy eating regimen and trying to, to get as fit as I can. And um, I don't know. It's just I, I can't put my finger on it. Um, I can't put my finger on it. But something has changed. Something has uh, has made me feel a lot better about things. I feel a lot more uh, positive. Not that I wasn't positive before, but, um, you know, I really feel like uh, this is going to be a long and prosperous, <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, remission. And, uh, you know, my spirits are up. Uh, it's like a goddamn helicopter again. I can't seem to do a video these days without someone jacking me with some loud noise.